Hello YouTube, Andy Cam reacts with another reaction for you. It's been a little sporadic with my reactions. Actually, rather, there's lots long periods of no reactions, and I apologize. Things got derailed. I got sick, um, like oddly, uh, and then I got better. Um, and then my child got sick, and then it, he got really sick for a few days. Um, and then my wife got sick. But they were all I it was not from not the same illness I had, thankfully. Uh or unthankfully, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, he got sick. Uh wife got sick. I was staying away from everyone, trying to not get sick, and then <laughs> cycle the entire illness around. But um everyone's better now. My wife's feeling a lot better. My child's doing a lot better. And it's time to get back on track. A lot of stuff's happening. Uh May is just a April, end of April, May is just a nightmare right now in terms of, uh, it's a, it's a great place to be uh, as a K-pop fan because there's a whole lot of stuff coming out. But uh, for a guy like myself who's trying to save everything until the reaction, it's a huge nightmare. I want to watch this. I want to watch that. I want to listen to this. Ugh. So this is Seventeen's Sono Gong, and when I watched and I saw that title Sono Gong, I was like, well, I know who, I know what that is. Uh, that's that's the Korean pronunciation for Son Goku. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, which is a jet, which is the way the Japanese say it. I don't know what the Chinese way the uh, of saying Son Gong would be. Uh, but that is the uh, the name of mo the Monkey King. You know, with the the stick that that elongates and he rides a cloud around. Um. Although people will probably know Sonokong or Son Goku uh, more from the story that derived from the parts and pieces of that story is Dragon Ball. Uh, the main character's name is Sonokong in Korean um, or Son Goku in Japanese. It's funny. Uh, they're just slightly different, right? It's the kanji that's the same or the the hanta is the same. Uh, Gohan, Son, uh, Son Gohan. Uh, his name is actually uh, in Korean, Sonoban. Um, so, <laughs> so in case you're wondering what the Korean version of those names are, those are it. So I've been really looking forward to this. Um, I've been really digging Seventeen thus far. I'm I'm two episodes in with my deep dive, uh, and a few songs in with their newer stuff. I've been really liking, been really liking what I'm seeing thus far. Sorry, my phone's going off. Gotta pay attention to the to the phone as well as what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, let me get going. Pardon this quick interruption, by the way. Uh, I've got something to announce. Of news from Jeju Island. Well, kind of specifically, it's Corel is currently adding in additional um, promotional set that showcases the partnership between Pacific and Stray Kids, and by extension, Corel myself. The name of the set is Stray Kids in the Black Uyu set. This set includes a toner, ampoule, and facial cream, eight double-sided Stray Kids photo cards, which also includes a QR code for two exclusive videos with Stray Kids. As you can see here, Stray Kids in the Black, and there's a QR code. Nisific Cross Stray Kids. This set helps to deliver nutrients directly to the skin with natural ingredients as they are by cold pressing extraction method. This product effectively helps to moisturize the skin and strengthen the skin barrier. Uh, for your information, that UYU, the UYU, uh, is actually the Korean word for milk, as this is a product that contains real milk extracted from the Jeju Islands which is AKA the Hawaii of Korea. And just to give you a sneak peek of the photo cards that come with this, well, I'm not gonna show you everything obviously, but here's the Pang Chan, here's the, here's the Mang Ne Ayan here. And like I said, I'm not gonna be able to show you everything, yet, but here's just a little slight preview of these beautiful gentlemen. So again, this, you get all this, in the set, the Stray Kids, in the black, and Uyu set. 
Once again, the name of this set is Stray Kids in the Black and Uyu set, which is in addition to the existing promotion that I've, uh, me and Cordell has partnered up on, which is the AHA BJ set, Fresh Herb skincare set, and the Origin Kit set that has uh, a variety of different sets you could choose from. After having tried the Fresh Herb set and now the Uyu set, I must say I'm really, 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 really re recommending if you want uh, to try some skincare products, I highly recommend this one from Pacific. And the bonus is you get some uh, bonus content from Stray Kids and you get to support them in Pacific. And then also by using my code, Cre uh, CamryX, you get to support me as well directly and also uh, Kore L, who's most gracious enough to uh, partner with me. So, but anyways, with that said, thanks for watching and back to what you're normally wanting to watch. More volume for me. That's Uji, right? Up there. Hold on. I just got goosebumps from just that. Ooh. Get the English going so everyone can see. Oh. I didn't realize how buff Inji was. You know, in blonde. This is uh, a reference to Dragon Ball. You know, you don't see a lot of short hairs in K-pop nowadays. Wanu went with the short hair, kind of, kind of like me. Hey, <laughs> uh, I'm guessing "Super" is the same song. I don't know. There's, I see "Super." What is this? Zykers. I heard a lot of people. Saw. Not a lot of people, but a few people saying Zykers. I should check them out. Um, this is very interesting. Uh. 
I think elements of the song reminded me of Hit, but I think Hit was a much more poppy EDM dance track. This song is not that, but there's elements to the song that remind me of Hit, which is great because I'm a sucker for Hit. I really like Hit. <laughs> it's a more um, mature feeling song, but the there's an underlying... Uh, adolescence to it the youthfulness to it because it's it is referencing a cartoon or whether it's referencing dragon ball or the uh, or the, the folklore that is the the original monkey king right it's still meant for children it's a children's story type of thing uh primarily so it, it's an interesting little i feel like the sound is very mature kind of um the sound that's just just phonetically sound wise but i feel like the lyrics the meaning um is like team um feeling like a cartoon character because they they feel amazing right they feel strong they, they feel powerful because uh they as a team um are what they are right you know basically uh potentially you know one of the biggest boy groups in in korea right um i'm I, do i want to go to the is there a dance practice actually before i even say that there is there's a lot of lot things for me to watch how many days did this, did this come out two days ago great woohoo Uji's been working out too. This is a reference to Son of uh, to Go Goku and his instant transmission. I wonder. They're so fast. background dance actually add a lot of elements to, like to this because you know 17's already got 13 members already it's like it's already a full stage so i was like background dancers but i think it's a huge enhancement to their choreography actually to have them it's, a, it's more theatrical for sure Hoshi's dancing. Ugh. For those that don't know, Hoshi's bias one and DK's bias two. There's DK speaking of. Are these cuts or blurs? What are these? Hold on, I missed something. Yeah, there's a cut. Okay. This dance performance was cut together to show the best parts of it, I guess.
deeds. Now it's coming back. Jeez. <laughs> I'm tired from watching that. Jeez. <laughs> that was cool. Um, well, these are all the same song, right? That was Sonogong. I'm guessing he's doing the thing. Dino's doing the things. I'm guessing this is, this is the same thing. This is the MTV performs, uh, Thumb Team performs Super MTV Fresh Out. I don't know if I've ever heard Chongan kind of rap. Have I? I like Dino's hair. Looks good on him. Ah, oh, she the. <laughs> I love how he puts a little extra growl. V8's hair looks really good <laughs> as well. For some reason, the song gives me goosebumps. I'm not sure what exactly it is doing that, but I'm getting goosebumps. And it's not stopping. Ooh. All right, I'm going to listen to this Inkigayo version here. Or watch both, I should say. It's a theatrical song to watch and listen to. This 
there any consensus on who's the most handsome member in 17? <laughs> I'm thinking it's between Mingyu and Wonu. From my perspective, of course, but everyone's got their own tastes, right? So it's, I think, kind of hard to determine if such a thing exists. But, you know, just curious if there's, like, you know, that, I'm guessing the topic's been broke. broached at some point. Oh. Maybe forget I even asked, bothered asking, actually, because they're all freaking good looking. <laughs> It's a very simple beat, right? I feel like as with a lot of dance tracks, I guess, but. It's definitely 17 that makes this song epic. In case you're ever wondering if Hoshi's oh, live or not. D8 really like kills this part. He just walks up and does his moves. It's real smooth. And someone here, you don't really. From what I've seen this far, someone is. Does, it's kind of cool to see him. Uh, be set front and center alone for a second there. I like Uji how he's killing this part too. Actually, it's, they're all killing their parts. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's definitely. I feel like the song. My man. I feel like the song is fairly simple in its instrumentation and or arrangement, but I think it's I think it's 17 that makes the song way good. <laughs> uh, I need help. Oh, not for uh, not for BSS though. How tall is Mingyu? Because I always thought DK and Wonu are tall. And then you see Mingyu just be at least six, seven centimeters taller than everyone else. How tall is this dude? He's 6'2. What's 6'2 in 188 centimeters? 87. 187 centimeters. Dude, he's a tall dude. I wish. If only he gave me like 3 centimeters. Still tall and average, and now put me above average. <laughs> For those that don't know, I'm like 174, you know, depending on what day it is, what shoes I'm wearing, it might be like 5. <laughs> Oh, 
든든해요. 든든한. 네. 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 예, 예. 약간 슈퍼스타 된 느낌. 예, 예. 바로 <웃음> 왜 부서스도 슈퍸스타예요 바로 주머니 손 꼽고 가잖아요. 아까부터 이거. 빼질 않았어요. 버르장머리 네. 네. 어. 없는. 머리 빼지요? <웃음> 아 사실 네. 여기 이거 때문에. 자, 아, 네. 부서스과 세븐틴의 차이점은 딱 하나가 있습니다. 어 뭐죠? 파이팅이 다릅니다. 아 그렇죠. 아, 저희 아, 세븐틴의 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 파이팅 한번 도겸 형께서. 아 세븐틴의 파이팅은 네. 어, 어, 부석순의 파이팅은 말이죠. 네. 아위 아래 아무것도 없는 거예요. 바로 중간 파이팅. 이거 말하면. 네. 이거라면 이거였다면 그렇죠. 세븐틴의 파이팅은 저희 모두 손을 모아서 연결돼 있죠. 연결돼 있습니다. 자, 가운데 중심으로 와주세요. 저희 손이 모여서 네. 모이세요. 같이 아래로 힘차게 쳐 주시면 됩니다. 네. 자, 세븐틴. 하나, 둘, 셋. 어, 파이팅! 오케이. 자, 더블 타이틀. <웃음> 손오공 FM. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Dicky brought his like broadcaster voice. I love it. <웃음> Come on. Come on. 
That's good. Um, damn. I think they killed it. I mean, I, I, I don't. Let me back up and say I really, really like the song, but I have to be honest and say I think it's. It's gonna be a grower for me. Um, I, so. The song's in a place where I feel like it's a dance. It's supposed to be more of a EDM dance track than anything, um, with elements of like an Asian culture. Right? I can't tell if it's like necessarily a Korean style um, instrumentation. In like right away, it sounds more like a Chinese kind of instrumentation. So. But I mean, I'm not an expert, although when it's so it's more subtle, I should say the Asian influence on the uh, beat. Um, but the song is definitely I don't know anything about temporal BPMs, that stuff, but it feels toned down from a song like Hit, which really hits I don't mean to use the play on words there, but it really hits like a, a weak spot of me that I just like I like that kind of music. Um, like even though it's a slower song, Mito from Stray Kids kind of does that same thing to me as well, from a BPM perspective, I guess. But um, so I'm not sure where the song lands for me yet, but but there's an epicness about it that I can't deny, and it's something that's really like giving bonus points to it in terms of me, how much I'm enjoying the song itself. Um, but after listening to their first six songs, right, which, which is Pretty You, Adore You, Manse, Uyugo Shipjana, Very, Aju Nice, Very Nice, uh, and Boom Boom, and then going to Fear or Tok or Poison, whatever that song is called, the really serious one, and then going to, you know, also... Hot. I started with hot. I went to something else and then hit and then, um, so you, you could kind of see this evolution in 17's music, you know, way in the beginning, it had a lot of brass. It was upbeat. It was kind of bright sounding songs. And then as the songs get later, like, like when I get to the hit genre, the era, like there's a more matureness to it about it, but there's high energy. And then eventually, when before this, uh, Sono Gong Hot was the first song I heard from them, right? Which is their, which was the comeback at that time for them. Um, I guess that was last year sometime. Uh, and I thought Hot and I think right now, if I had to think about it, Hot is like a vastly different song from Aju Nice, for example, right? Uh, but when you think about Hit, Tok, Hot, um, there's another song I listened to, Dream, that no one cared about <laughs> on my channel, uh, their Japanese release. Like, and then this song, I feel like they're they've they've evolved the product the producing team, which is I guess Uji and others, um, have kind of changed their musical production tendencies, maybe styles or desires a, li a little bit to a more mature feel, right? And and that's what I mean by mature. I, I mean, you know, especially when I when when you compare 17 old uh 17 to now 17. Uh, it's a very different feel. Um they feel like grown guys now instead of you know, young guys, I guess. Um and it's really nice to see. It's actually really, really cool to see. And I think, but there's, you know, there's elements to them that are consistent from what I could see. Although I can't really, I'm still such a noob when it comes to 17. I'm just kind of, so I'm still learning about them and I still am um, 
I'm still learning about them. I'm still exploring what I like about them, what I don't like about them. I, well, so far there hasn't been anything I don't like about them. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cool to see uh, their evolution. Because now that I'm, I had the benefit of being a very new fan of 17s, right? Uh, and only discovering their seven year ago music and then getting to compare that with the music of now uh, although you've been probably exposed to their gradual change i'm seeing the the change up front and personal right in front of me in, in the last month basically uh it's 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 uh so i bring this up because i think uh sonogong is a very You kind of expected not this sound specifically, this feel, um, and to some extent. Nah, I didn't really know what to expect, but it, it's it's not surprising where the sound went, but it is surprising how epic they made it. Though I feel like this is like their biggest so far. What I've seen this far, like their biggest production. Um, and of course, like I said, I'm still new to them. I haven't consumed much of their content. Um, I'm only like 12 songs in. Uh, so it, it might be a naive thing to say, but it feels like this is like their um, one of their more grandiose sounds. Um, but I also wonder how... how carrots are receiving Sonogo. I ask that because um, it is such a departure from their older stuff. I don't know. Before I end the video, I would just kind of check out a few other stuff here. Uh, it's kind of loud. Can I adjust this volume here? Kepler. I don't remember Kepler members so much. It's been a while since I reacted to them, but I need to react to them as well. I remember her face. I'm so bad with names and when it comes to groups, I don't react very often. Being you with... Monster X is coming. Got a bunch of tall dudes here, basically. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, side story. I went to Korea in 1999. And I was a teen. And I was 172 or 3 or so um at that time i was pretty i, I grew er, my growth spurt was early and i didn't grow much after that um so when i went to korea at that time i was actually able to see above a lot of people like if you're in the sea of the subway um i was much taller than the average person i felt like i felt like i was fairly tall um at that time at 172 or so, 172, 173 centimeters, or which is about, sorry, five, six, five, seven, yeah, five, seven ish or so. Um, and then fast forward to maybe last year or whatever, when the last time I went to Korea, what was that? I go to Korea very often, at least once every two years. Um, although, and my wife goes like, when she's not pregnant, she tends to go once or twice a year. Um, I think I am considered average or maybe even a little bit under average in Korea now. In in one generation span, because uh, it's been, what, 24 years, so it's like a generation, right? Um, the average height of Koreans skyrocketed for whatever reason. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how or why that happened. Maybe it's medicine. Maybe it's health, right? Overall health, quality of food. Um, maybe there's a secret to, you know, secret stretches that parents have learned where they could stretch their kids out. I don't know what it is, but they're, they're tall. So I can no longer say I am above average. I am just average, maybe even slightly below average in height. So just a side story. Koreans are increasing their average height on a generational basis in a, at an alarming weight rate, I feel like. Tempest. Don't know anything about Tempest. Does he have water in his mouth? Compliment battle. No, he doesn't have water in his mouth. He's just laughing. <laughs> Okay. Um, kinda wanna watch this music video one more time. Is this instrumentation Korean? I mean, it doesn't have to be, right? Koreans tend to use Korean instrumentation on when they use Asian influenced things, but. I think me and you came in here like A lot of people dancing. that instrument going, it feels like the song slows down all of a sudden.
Those outfits look great on them, by the way. It's like... I don't know if they're necessarily alter your handbook style. I guess they kind of are. Like the robe style clothing, right? Like a modernized version of handbook, I guess. Um, I kind of watch this live version again. I feel like certain members saying that... Um, when they shouldn't have, or, or, or place the parts were switched around. Like. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I think BSS might be my favorite members as far as just because I, my exposure to them obviously has a huge. Um, is a huge contributor to that feeling. Let's go. Five. Ten, ten, there's one person missing. And I think it's the eight. Five. Ten, eleven, twelve. So there's... Where's the eight? Is that the reason why he was... Uh, why is D not here? If they said 13, or I thought I saw the subtitles say 13. Maybe I miss. That was a mistranslation. All of us were here as well, or something like that. It's live. Actually, let me see if they were all 13 here. 5, 10, 12. Yeah. It's, it's missing the 8. That sucks. Does anyone know why the 8's not here? Let's go. I counted again, it's 12. Yeah, we're doing it. It's live. We're 17. We don't know what time coming. Let's go. 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 let us why is Chung Han and Joshua always next to each other? Makes me doubt. I know their names.
19. Killed it. 감사합니다. Let's go. 돌아왔다. It's your luck. Just like laughing. 좋습니다. 좋다. 근데 아직 PD님 컷 하실 때까지. 아, 아 좋았네요. 저는. <웃음> Hold on one second. I want to. I need to re-listen to what they're saying. 세븐틴 단체가 왔습니다. 안녕하십니까. Let's go. 다 같이 온건 처음이죠. See, you're 세명 같이 오는 건 처음이죠. I heard him say that, but there's only twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. DK, you lied to me. 두석 순으로 한번 나왔었는데. I just assumed. Hold on a second. All right, I am back. So anyways, I was just trying to confirm. I I, I was uh, wondering why Dino sang the chorus twice. And I was like, because when I watched the other videos, the eight sing up, right? So I was just kind of confused is all. Um, yeah, comment down below what happened to the eight or it's just schedule conflict. You know, he had to be somewhere else. Um, just curious. I hope he's OK. Um, he also, in the dance practice, walked out from the second chorus and then he came back right way at the end so I was wondering if maybe he's injured or he's not feeling well I don't know just spitballing here just trying to figure out why because I'm curious I'm nosy I, I'm sorry <laughs> but you know it sucks when I uh, if um people miss time like Ives uh Ray she's taking hiatus actually uh taking some time away from activities and that's sad to see um so I'm, I'm hoping the eight's okay it's a schedule conflict or something for this one Specifically, because uh, he looked great in that music video. Shoot. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna can't make a decision. Too much pressure. Um, there's no other performances. So oh, here it is, KBS. So I'll play KBS in the background here and just kind of talk a little bit. Music bank. Come back, 17. Well, I was going to talk over it, but... There it goes. Nope. Excuse me. Yeah, the... Is that the 8 over here, actually? I'll know when he comes up. I lower the volume, by the way, just because I want to talk a little bit more. Not only are you incredibly tall, thank you, and you're also incredibly buff and handsome, nice hair. How unfair the world can be sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, so I think the song is, it's grown on me a lot. I think the song still feels, I really like that Dino hair. Um, I think the song was really good. I just think I like, for example, I think I like Hit more personally. But I have a feeling more people will like Sono Gong than they do Hit, in my opinion. Um, and I try my best to have a pulse on what's popular or not, but I'm pretty bad at judging that because I'm actually noticed that I tend to like things that are not as popular as I think it might be, which is weird. <laughs> Does he have a contact on his left eye? Like, I see a lot of white on his left eye. Joshua. That's how it's spelled in Dream down there above that. Joshua. There he is. So he just walked up here though. I don't think he was dancing. Is he injured? I'm curious now. He's taking his the the um, choreography pretty pretty light, so I'm guessing. I'm just speculating he's injured. 
because I don't think he was dancing at all. What are you wearing, Ju? So is it a trend or is it just my... Uji kills this part, by the way. This hair looks really good on him, actually. This kind of permed middle part thing looks good on him. saying got absorbed in the performance um yeah i don't have the best pulse on what becomes viral hits right um <laughs> uh my wife has a better gauge of that but she, if there's a song she doesn't this is the genre of music she wouldn't like so hard for me to say but i feel i know 17 was killing the melon track uh charts for a little bit it's funny there's a uh the melon charts fluctuate daily but on a day where there's no major comeback or comebacks or whatever, there's one person that dominates Melon. And it's his name is Im Young Woon. And he was the winner of Mr. Trot. Trot. So he is incredibly popular. And whenever his name is involved, everything sells out. The world comes to a standstill and whatever. It's He's, but he's a he's a modern trot, and if the Mister Show the show Mister Trot was a, um, if you guys know what Korean music is and such, and you know what trot is, it's like the older generation style, very specific in how you sing. Um, he has been destroying the charts, um, especially on Melon. If it's like like I said, just regular day, like the top ten is all uh, this dude. Um, it, what I was saying was a, Mr. Trot is a survival show. A sh not survival show. It's a contest, basically. Uh, not too unlike, you know, K-pop star and whatever. Superstar K and all that stuff. Um, but it was for, for Trot audiences. And it was so popular in Korea um, for some reason. <laughs> uh, but he's always topping the charts. But then when Seventeen came with Sono Gong... Um, and the album, like they were, uh, they they squeezed him out of the top for a few days, and then he's now back on top. But so the groups that have been able to do that are Seventeen, Ive, and New Jeans so far, that have consistently been able to when they come out with stuff, they push him down for a little bit, <laughs> and he he creeps right back up. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna. Continue my deep dive with 17. This is not a deep dive. This is a reaction to Sonogong or Super as it is in, in English Although not a direct translation, obviously um, The next deep dive episode that I'll do uh, that features 17 here will be A three-part guide by a certain member that I forget that made videos of 17. It was recommended to me by um, Someone or something somewhere Somehow, the Patreon. It might have been a person in Patreon sending me like a. No, that was a band made comment, um, but there, I know there was another comment in one of my previous videos that kind of said showed me um, recommended guides, to seventeen. So I'm, I'm gonna have to hunt that video uh link comment down, and that's gonna be my next part. Just trying to get to know them better. Right, I, the only thing I really know about them is uh, from that fear dance practice making of, not dance practice, the making of the dance, I believe, the choreography. So I got to see them working hard, for like uh, you know that personality, and then at the end, who has cleanup duties, uh, and they were playing a game, um, and DK was a goofball, that's what I recall, and then uh, I know Joshua and Chonghan uh, ended up being the two people that were. Uh, and to clean up at the end, I think. So that's the first glimpse of non-musical, non-performance really things that I learned about them. And then I've gathered information from like DSS, right? Uh, Fighting Heiji. 
Um, so, and you know, Hoshi and DK and Tsungwon are are <laughs> hilarious, right? But I don't know much about them otherwise. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that, and that's going to be the next reaction for the deep dive. That's deep dive part three. I haven't recorded yet, so we'll see how it goes. Deep dive part four is going to be the next few, probably three releases that they've done chronologically, or not chronologically. Uh, I don't know what those songs are. I have to look up what songs those would be. Um, assuming it's a song I haven't heard yet. And then... We'll see where the deep dive goes after that. Maybe another more variety content, right? I'm not sure. A compilation of other stuff. Or start looking at their B-sides. But regardless, um, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. 17 has been great. Um, you know, I, I, my, my channel doesn't have a lot of boy groups. A lot of people here recommend girl groups to me. Um, and But the boy groups that are that I have kind of more regularly on my channel um have been amazing so for those that don't know straight kids is per currently um like one of my favorite groups ever but boy group as well uh 80s has been a regular occurrence although kind of sp kind of spread out unfortunately just because i have a lot of stuff i want to react to <laughs> i apologize to the 80s um txt as well i want to get back to them i just can't find the opportunity because there's so much going on uh, and and I don't have a lot of bandwidth to record, so I'm sorry. Uh, I think they're called the Moas. Uh, I'm sorry, TXT. But I, I started strong with them. I like them a lot, actually. Um, who else did I react to boy group wise that are really in, in Seventeen, of course. You know, uh, and people seem to like Seventeen a lot, so hence they won my poll for the deep dive series I'm doing. Um, I know there's like another boy group that I've featured on my channel. I just can't remember now. Anyways, you know what I'm getting at. 17 is great. I like them a lot. Um, looking forward to seeing more from them. Comment down below if there is another specific song you want to hear from me, of course, or B-sides that you want to see from me. I need to start accumulating a list of B-sides to, to for my deep dive, right? Um, so I'll get to that as well. And of course, if you want to cut in line from the queue and, you know, all that stuff, the queue that is, um, you know, the stuff that I'm planning on reacting to, uh, Patreon is a great place to, uh, to support me directly and also a great place to cut in line. Uh, so please, uh, if, you, if you're interested, of course, it's not required because everything I re react to, if it's uploadable on YouTube, will go on YouTube. Um, it's not an obligation, but if it, if you like the content from from my channel, it takes a lot of my time. Um, you know, consider Patreon, all that fun stuff. I have a Discord. Love to have more carrots there. Uh, currently, there's very little representation of this in my Discord, and Discord is where I actually spend a lot of my time when it comes to interacting with the people that are interested in my channel. So if you're interested in ch hanging out with me here and there, I I'm pretty fairly on a regular basis on Discord, so I would love to have you there. Um, where am I? Um, where, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I have Twitter and Instagram. Don't really use those very much, but I do make announcements on those on occasion. On twitch.tv uh, slash Andy underscore Cam. Uh, that's where I do my live streaming. I don't do very often. Um, I'm trying to do more often, but I don't do often. But if I do, that's where I hang out. Uh, the format is usually hang out, listen to old songs, hear people, what other songs they liked. And then they start recommending songs that are no not normally in my wheelhouse for the channel. Uh, so far, a lot of Japanese rock has been recommended to me uh, of, or requested, whatever you call it. But we just hang out and have fun, talk about the songs. We all discover new music together. I share music that I liked or, I, you know, whatever. And also, it's a great place for me to, you know, try and to feed little bits and pieces of, you know, like if there's a lot of uh, insomnia there, for example, uh, which is a dream catcher group uh, fan base um i'll start trying to convert some of them to stray kids or you know whatever so 17 also I've, I've tried to introduce 17 to them as well so it's just a great place for us to kind of hang out meld our musical 
you know preferences together and hopefully we come to, out with uh maybe a new fan of one you know from another who knows whatever however you want to play it so we'd love to have you guys there um the announcements always go out of course but it's on twitch.tv not on uh, youtube unfortunately because uh, youtube definitely i get more viewers when i do live on youtube but youtube tends to block my my channel <laughs> when i start doing too many copywritten um things or if i'm not careful with it okay <laughs> took me like 10 minutes to close this video out so with that said uh like the video subscribe helps the algorithms out helps me understand you guys enjoy the content all that fun stuff um yeah have a good day good evening good morning wherever you are whatever time it is be safe take care of yourselves if you're still here many hearts to you and i'll see you next time Bye. Where's my mouse? I need to end the video. Where is my mouse? Goodbye.